Oh, oh juicy. juicy. Yeah. Uh, the rumor mill is churning on uh, Matt Khalil. Beat up a fan. That's what the way with didn't he? Isn't that, isn't that the Did rumor? He? I just love the fact that we have a gate now. We're calling it Hat Gate. Hat Gate. Yeah, yes. there was. Were there, the rumors say there was slapping. Oh yeah, people throwing swear words and slaps around. Fan wants to sue the Vikings. Whoa! Thank you so much, Vikings, for spicing things up. We needed this. Now we know the rumor mill is churning, but we need to bust a few of the rumors today. <laughs> now we all know it's been a rough season for Vikings lineman Matt Khalil, who took out his frustrations, I guess we could say, on a fan after Sunday's loss to the Packers. Khalil is now apologizing. Yeah. Check this video out. He knocked goes. the hat. There's the hat. Oh, and oh. hat gate begins. Just like that, he's gone. So the guy was heckling him as he left TCF Bank Stadium. He didn't like it, hit the hat. The incident was caught on video and went viral immediately. Yeah, so uh, we, uh, we wanted to talk to the owner of the flying hat itself, Rhett Wade, joining us now on Skype. How you doing, Rhett? Hey, How Rhett. are you? How y'all doing? So, so a little bit of internet fame has found you because of uh, of, of Hatgate. Are, are you are you enjoying the the uh, little notoriety that you're getting on Twitter and people reacting to you? It's not as serious as like people think. It's really annoying. I'm getting called all kind of names, you know, and things like that. But I take it with a grain of salt. You know, I got thick skin, so it don't bother me now. So uh, now let's let's clear a couple of the rumors up. First, are, are you suing the Vikings? Are, are, you, are, you, are you going after some money like the city pages said? I want to. Trust me, I mean, there's just nothing there. Like, if he would have punched me in my mouth, it would probably be a different story. You know, but it's the just, you know, knock my hat off my head. So it's nothing serious, you know, live and let live. I ain't tripping. They need to get this W. They can pay me back by getting this W this weekend. So what exactly happened that led this guy, yeah. this pro football player, to come up and specifically whack the hat off your head? First, can I say that what the rumor was? Yeah. Okay, the rumor was you called him garbage and you called him a bum. Is that, exa is that what happened? I didn't even say that. I mean, when he walked out, I mean, me and my, like, my little homie, we just, we just watched the game and we just watched him damn near single-handedly cost us this game. Right. So, <laughs> For him to come out, he was like the last person I wanted to see who played for us. So, I mean, I kind of like even turned around before that and just try to, you know, avoid the whole situation. But when he turned around, all I said was, you know, where do you want to be traded? You know, anywhere but here. Where do you want to go? <laughs> you know what? That that's It's not like you were asking a question that every Vikings fan isn't asking. No. And I wasn't even trying to be disrespectful and curse towards the man. You know, I just said something very general. And he tried to act like he didn't hear it. He kept going. And he came back, you know, trying to pump his chest out or whatever he's trying to do and, and, and scare me or whatever. But people know me. So, you know, he asked me, you know, repeat what you said, what you say, what you say. So I told him again. And then he said, F all. Oh, he told and you. Oh, he swore it. So he swore at you. All right. It wasn't exactly a compliment. So where are you trying to get <laughs> traded to? You know what? That's, I think that's a great question. I wasn't trying to compliment the guy, but... But still, you know, after he told me to F all, that's when I said, you know, well, we, we will gladly trade you for your brother. You know, I know he got a brother that plays in Carolina. I would gladly still trade him for his brother today, you know. So I said that. I guess that you know, ruffled his little bitty feathers up. He came over and knocked my hat off. Uh, don't get called soft and all this other stuff. Like, if there was, there was buku, plenty of security around. That man was well protected, so people... Saying, oh, I would have did this. They wouldn't have did nothing. They wouldn't have right. well, said nothing. They ain't got no heart. No, man. Ma got no, no heart. matter what, I'm glad that it didn't escalate into anything other than a hat flip. Uh, the question that's yeah. on everybody's mind before we let you go, did the hat survive? Is, is the <laughs> hat, can we see, is the hat around? It's not around right now. It was this morning, I showed you, but but the hat is alive and well. The hat is my brother's hat. It's not even my hat. It was my brother's hat. I didn't even have the hat. Oh, like, because I don't go to oh, Vikings games needed a furry hat. All right, so, so, so the hat has been re returned to its rightful owner. Oh, good. We and, were very worried. And we have, and we'll put the wraps. <laughs> can we put the wraps on this on this hashtag hat gate? Is it? I mean, the controversy's over. You're not. You suing. know how Twitter works. They're just gonna keep talking. But at least we here on the fly know the truth. All right. Well, Rhett, we appreciate you sharing the story with us. Uh, or before I go, can I just say rest in peace to my brother's father? We just lost him a couple of days ago. The Zachary family, y'all in my prayers. Much love, to you man. I just want to tell him that. For sure. Well, Rhett, thank you very much for coming Thanks, on the Rhett. show. We do appreciate it. All right, that's how, I mean, it is an amazing ending to uh, 
to some drama that really never even really happened. Right. <laughs> and at least the hat's okay. Yeah. I, well, I, you know, the hat was... The, if you're gonna pick a hat to fly off somebody's head, that's the one. <laughs> right. It was like that Classic big long raccoon Minnesota furry hat. hat.